Hi, I'm Diane Dayton. We're at the 20th Annual VF Outlet Berks Jazz Fest in Reading, Pennsylvania. Sitting down right now with Kieli Minucci. Thank you for being with us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to see you again. And you've got a lot of exciting things coming up this year. One of those being this brand new CD. Yes, our new CD. Yay, plug, <laughs> plug, plug. Uh, this just came out yesterday, so wow. I'm, I'm very excited about it. It's uh, the new uh, Kiele Minucci and Special Effects CD uh, called Without You, and it's our 25th anniversary um, celebration release. So uh, what it is, it's a double CD, and uh, we're also going to be putting out a live DVD, I think next month that'll come out, so that'll be April, April, May, or let's say late spring release. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm just, uh, you know... I'm very thrilled that it, it, it's done. Yeah, well, you have a ton of CDs, too, that you're a part of, with special effects and on your own. What, 26 of them yeah. total? Yeah. Yeah, we've been busy. <laughs> you have been busy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've always been a writer, and, uh, you know, the, I think that, that if you're going to write something with any substance, you have to just keep writing and writing and writing. And, and uh, you know, sometimes I listen to those older records and I hear a couple of good tunes. Uh-huh. And there's a lot of other ones that we should have left off, but you know, you never know while you're doing it. Right. So, but it's 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 been an honor for me to to have such a long career uh, mm -hmm. and and you know, done what I've done so far. Yeah, Gifts. well, you're talking about writing and doing a lot of writing. Well, where does your inspiration come from? Or you don't just sit down and go, okay, I'm going to write right now, do you? Well, yeah, I do that do also. You? There's there's different. There's a lot of people have different thoughts about this. You don't need inspiration to write. Okay. But it's nice when it comes that way. So some of the music that I've written is inspired, um, and some of it's just concocted out of thin air. You know, sometimes I'll, I mean, I've, I've had, I've had uh, moments where I've woken up where a melody has been running through my head or an idea that, that uh, and, and, I've, and I've gotten to the piano or to the guitar, and, and the idea is, fades away right before I start to, you know, but that, that plants the seed to write something. Or th uh, there have been situations where, um, I've been in the studio, and uh, it, it's as if it's as if I've played it before, and the piece just comes, or the melodies just flow, and uh, as if I had written it already. You know, that's mm -hmm. an insp inspired kind of writing. But there's also the kind of writing that a lot of a lot, I think a lot of people know best. A lot of the write, uh, us writers and people who write books are the same way, and, and anybody who designs or choreographs knows this is when the, you have to get the job done. Mm -hmm. You know, so the piece has to be written, and sometimes. Sometimes uh, going to a uh, writing session with, ap with a blank slate and yet I need to get something finished. Um, as long as you just keep doing it, it's like eating. You know, when you, when you start eating something, uh, sometimes the, the appetite starts to take off. Okay. Um, and, and that's what happens to me with writing a lot of times. Yeah. Well, you've been playing for a long time. How did you start? Uh, for me, it started with uh, piano. Uh, my, my father was a pianist. Uh, he was a concert pianist from Italy. And... Uh, mm -hmm. He insisted that I learn the piano as a child, so I, I studied piano from, I guess I was five or six, you know, I was a real little kid. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I switched to guitar when I was around eight. Yeah. And what is this guitar that we have in back? Tell me about that. Oh, this one here? This, yeah. this one looks like hell, but it sounds <laughs> great. This is a Gibson Chet Atkins guitar. This mm -hmm. is the uh, acoustic instrument I use when I tour. It's uh, 1985, the first year they were made. and. Uh, it's been everywhere, as you can tell by looking at it. The, yeah, uh, yeah. the scratches on the right side there, uh -huh. those were made completely with my pinky nail. Oh, wow. Yeah, just over time, you know, like, like the waves yeah. crashing against the rocks. Just from one, I don't think it's ever going to go through because it's an it's a electric instrument. So. Okay. What's the difference between the solo projects you do and then Kiele Minucci with special effects? Tell me the difference. Uh, there's not really that much. Okay. I mean, when... The first solo record I did was called Jewels. I did that in 1995, and um, the the whole idea was to put out a record of music that that my partner uh, George George Jinda, my late partner George Jinda, he didn't really want to do that with special effects. And in that case, there was some music that was a little more rocky or fusion, you know, rock fusion kind of music. So the first record, uh, Jewels, was done with that in mind, just to do music that that I it was like a surplus of writing going on and. Uh, but as, as the years passed, um, uh, I, I was asked to do special effects records and I was asked to do solo records by, by my record company. And why say no? So uh, the challenge was, how can I make them sound different? And after a while, I didn't, I didn't try anymore. I just figured good music is good music. And, mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, I think the solo records had a little more feature of guitar. I think the special effects CDs tend to feature the band a little more. Okay. But I'm so close to it, it's hard for me to, I can't review my own music sure. really. Yeah. Well, you've grown up around music, and music is, is your life, really, a, a big part of your life. It almost feels like it's a part of your DNA, huh? Uh, it sure does. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mentioned my father being a composer, and, and, and now my son. My son is a, mm. is a bassist and a guitarist and a, and a composer. He co-wrote a song on this CD with me and played on it. Oh, and, very cool. Uh, and he plays shows with us as well. Oh, and he's good. only 20, so he's, he's doing quite well with that. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I was, music is my hobby. It was my hobby as a kid, and, and it still is now, so, yeah. you know. So it's good to have this as your vocation, too. It, it just, it's been great. It has been yeah. great. What does it feel like on stage for you, and especially if you're having your son play with you at times? It's exciting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a little bit nerve-wracking still. I've always had a little bit of stage fright, and... Uh, as soon as I get up and play, though, I feel much better. Right. Stage fright is something that happens before you play normally. Yeah. Um, but uh, having my son up on stage is a great thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did a show in, uh, uh, we played in Guantanamo Bay last August for the, for the troops. And, uh, and it was Spira Gyra, special effects. And, uh, uh, and John Luca got up and played, uh, played a song with us. And mm. it sounded great. And when he got off stage, I saw all the guys from Spira Gyra patting him on the back and, you know, punching him and stuff. And I just was like, you know, I found it wasn't just proud, but I mean, he really had done a good job. Oh, yeah. And I have some great photos of that moment. So yeah. it's, it's a good feeling. Those moments are good when you can connect with people like that, isn't it? It is. And, and uh, you know, a lot of folks, when they, when they see us perform, uh, it's, you know, it's entertainment. We're, something's supposed to happen. Uh, the audience, uh, hopefully, is you're communicating with the audience. And, and al also, as a listener, I know this. Sometimes music can transcend daily life, so it can take you somewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's calming. It's relieving. Sometimes it's uh, exciting or annoying, even. But it makes mm -hmm. you, if it makes you react, mm -hmm. uh, I think that the composer did his job. And uh, when, uh, when, we, when we do shows on stage, uh, the interaction with the musicians on the stage, it's, it's a form of communication and, and uh, it's like a team thing. It's like something that you agree on and, and a way to do it that, uh, I, I don't know else how to describe it really. Okay. People have written books about it who yeah. say it better than I do. Yeah. But it is that feeling and that connectivity that you have with mm -hmm. the music, with the audience, with the band. Yeah, it's a form of communication really. Yeah. Um, you know, and I've, I've had this experience a few times where people have come up to me and said that a p piece of music that uh, appeared on one of my CDs uh, had a profound effect on them during mm. a certain time in their life. And I understand that feeling. I've been affected by uh, books uh, or music and, uh, or movies the same way. But a lot of times when they say that to me, I didn't have that effect from the song I wrote. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily get that. Right. You know, that's how, that's how art is. Yeah. You know? It, 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 you, you know, sometimes you connect, sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. And this is something, what do you see in the future? More of the same? Different? <laughs> it's not boring. No, because it keeps evolving. Way. Yeah. I, I, uh, right now, I mean, my, my goal with the new CD is to... Uh, uh, I want to I want to share the music with as many people as possible and and tour as much as possible. My kids are grown up now, so I don't really. I, I'd like to travel a little bit more. I like traveling through music, so I, f I see that uh, producing a CD is a great vehicle for doing that. And then meeting people and you know, for instance, we just came back from uh, a tour of Asia, yeah. and we did the Java Jazz Festival in Jakarta in Indonesia, and uh, I got to I spent there five days getting to know people there and mm. seeing another culture. That's that's just a great way to that's a great way to see to see the world. Sure to meet is. People. That's yeah. what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking time today. It was good to share a little bit of time with you. It's good to speak to you too, Diane. And Thank you. And I look you. forward to hearing you tonight. Thanks. We're coming to you from the 20th annual VF Outlet Burks Jazz Fest in Reading, Pennsylvania.